This dog will show you a high level of intensity, he'll show you real aggression. We really do aim to achieve the world's best protection dog. Fraser's a serious, serious dog, there's no games played with Fraser. Literally my arm will be blue after this, 100%. He turns into an absolute lunatic. Hello, 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 I know, I know, I know. Boy. My name is Lador, this is Protection Dogs Worldwide. I train dogs for families that have had certain situations, scenarios that need protection. We offer four levels of training. Three are the most popular, and then we have a dog that's called a director's dog, which is only one every two years. Very rare, and it's a dog that's been brought up by me or one of the head trainers from Puppy in a house for two years straight. Vegas would be an example of a director's dog. I've had him from Puppy, I've brought him up, I've literally, he's, he spends all the time in the house with me, the kids, and I've took him on every sort of scenario you can imagine. Sit, down, here, yes, good boy, good boy. The cost of the dog varies completely on the level of training that we do. They can start anywhere from 20,000 up to 70, 80,000 pounds. Everyone asked me, is Vegas for sale? I couldn't sell him, I love him to bits. Been offered 100,000 for him, Saudi Arabia. At the end of the day, it's like a child to me, so the money's irrelevant. Down. Close. Yes. I live here at the Kennels. We live here full time, 24 seven. We live with all the dogs, me and my family. Got a young daughter. One of the first words she ever said was doggies. So I know when I've got a dog with my daughter that it's safe. And if it isn't, then it won't be safe for anybody else's daughter. Okay. Sit. Sit. Hey, Vegas. Sit. 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 And I'll give him it. Down. Down. Okay, good boy. Go on. Yeah. No, you. The give training's intense, way more than it used to be. Start at six on the morning and I finish nine o'clock most nights, and that's seven days a week. Cool, right, guys? So, plan of action as usual. See how that goes, and then we'll give it two and a half hours of protection. So, some covert stuff, some intense stuff, and see what goes from there. Every morning we wake up, we, the first thing we do is clean. We always start with a small walk, get the dog out, let him have a wee, a poo, whatever it needs to do. So this is minced chicken. Really, really good stuff. Everything's a raw diet. We then decide who we're working in obedience. We'll make a list for obedience, then we'll make a list for protection. Everything in dog training, you have to start with fun, whatever the dog actually wants. Bentley is nine months old, Kane Corso, very, very happy dog, always excited, always happy to work, um, great energy. It's actually a pleasure to work him. He'll grow a lot more yet, he's still a puppy. I'm excited to see what he becomes. I love working the Kane Corsos. They're very slow at developing, so the end, the end product is so much more rewarding. The biggest dog we ever had here was a dog called Lex. <laughs> 78 kilo King Corso. Absolutely massive. I'm not kidding, but his head is like that. What a remarkable looking dog. We're about to get two puppies out. I say puppies, the seven and eight months old, two Dobermans. We're working on bite work development. So here's a Hilius. We're gonna show you what we've been teaching him lately. The end goal is I send him to the pram and he guards the pram. 360 perimeter around it, barking, guarding from any threat. Anyone makes a strike or anything like that, then he'll, he'll bite. You've got this goofy, cute side, but you've just got such an intense side in protection, um, which is a perfect, perfect combination. So yeah, look, we're ready to do some work with Fraser. Fraser's a serious, serious dog. There's no games played with Fraser. This dog will show you a high level of intensity. <laughs> He'll show you real aggression. <laughs> I don't need to agitate him. He's just ready for action. I'll do it twice, but that's about it, because literally my arm will be blue after this, 100%. 
Fraser. Fraser's not your everyday dog. He's a very sweet dog, but when it comes to working the dog, he turns into an absolute lunatic. It's intense. Everyone has to be on the ball when you're working Fraser. Finish the day by turning the TVs on. That's going to mimic basically this is the end of the day. TVs go on, heating goes on, lights go out, and then it's good night. It imitates the sort of family environment. All right, good night, guys. What sets us apart from other dog trainers is the level of training that we're willing to go to and the things that we're willing to do. My ambition is to keep pushing dogs as far as I can push them and to reach the best ability with any dog we get. I love the place with a passion. I love the dogs, I love what we do. We really do aim to achieve the world's best protection dog.